I'm Ariana and we're here in Hyde Park, but what we can see behind us is the tallest building in Western Europe, the Shard, which is also called the Shard of Glass. Now, can you guess what sound we'll be learning today? Shard. That's right, it's the sh sound. So now let's learn how to pronounce the sh sound. You want to make a wide groove in the centre of your tongue and breathe outwards quickly. So, sh, sh, sh. A very common use of this sound is when you want to say to somebody noisy, sh, sh. It's the exact same sound as sh. Can you repeat after me? Sh, sh. That's great, you're doing a fantastic job. what words we can use with the sh sound. So let's start with the shard behind us. So repeat after me. Shard. 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 Now some people say that the shard looks very sharp. Can you repeat that word after me? Sharp. Sharp, sharp, sharp. Also, in the summertime when the sun's shining, the shard can be very shiny. Now repeat that after me. Shiny, shiny, shiny. Now something quite unique about the shard is its shape. That's shape, 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 shape. Well done, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. It started raining in London, but we're still going to continue with our perfect English. Unfortunately, in London, we see a lot of showers. Now, let's repeat that word after me. Showers. Showers. So now let's move on to our tongue twister. She was shocked to see sharks. Now, repeat that after me. She was shocked to see sharks. She was shocked to see sharks. She was shocked to see a shark. She was shocked to see a shark. She was shocked to see a shark. She was shocked to see sharks. She was shocked to see sharks. Can you do it even faster than that? She was shocked to see sharks. 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 <laughs> well done, you did a fantastic job. The sh sound is a very important sound in the English language and it's used in one word that we use quite often, should. So let's repeat that. Should. 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 We use the word should a lot when giving advice. For example, you should come to London and see the Shard. 
You should come to London to see the Shard. You should come to London to see the Shard. You should come to London to see the Shard. Great work. This was Ariana and we were talking about the Shard, but as we can see, it's in the shadows of the showers. So we'll see you next time.